Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nimer here with some more Hearts of Owl Tropical Island and Guideman is back. Okay, so yeah, I will need to like reschedule some things around. So I was wanted to like start a new series here and I wanted to do some tutorials, but then I got some people telling me like, no, but like we want you to do all this stuff that you did there, you said you will do with the Guideman and uh, and yeah, yeah, I do want to like... Uh, I do want to like explore the whole island and do a couple more things with Guideman here, including the pearl necklace. So yeah, I'll play it like every four days or so. So like right now, my idea is, hear me out, hear me out. So the tutorial, people like the dynamite tutorial. So that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks for the support on that. And people want the mining tutorial now. So I want to do that as well. So my plan is today, you have this episode in two days or so, there's going to be another tutorial and then after two days then another guideman so we do it like this like one episode one tutorial one episode one tutorial and i'll do the new series once i finish the the jasmine and uh, she's pretty close to finishing okay well, that's a sentence i guess we are pretty close to winning that run and um yeah once we win with jasmine we're gonna start a new series and that's the plan yeah <laughs> let me know what you think anyway <laughs> anyway we have this beautiful beautiful bone instrument now we can play some nice simple tunes uh, so what I would like to do is, well, I want to explore, of course, uh, but I also want to like, oh yeah, when I did the tutorial, I backed up the save. So this, this, uh, this series continues exactly where it was left off. Uh, like I, I made a copy of the save and did the tutorial on a copy. So all the crap we did there never happened, right? So it's a separate reality anyway. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, it, we don't really need the, the the dynamite here anyway. We did everything we we needed with the dynamite. Okay, so so right now we are more or less in the process of downsizing our animals, if I'm not mistaken. So we can free up ourselves to do other stuff. So let's check the piggies. There's a lot of piggies. We have a boar here, which oh uh, well, yeah, it could be used to like uh, be removed, and then we got. Okay, this thing, yeah. I think I'll keep the goats, I'll keep Siegfried and I'll reune and like, they'll probably keep growing goats. Let's see how much food do they take? Yeah, very little. And these are super easy to feed. So my suggestion right now is unless you really need like uh, big explosions of leather and unless you have like a millions of foods lying around, uh, getting ready to feed your boars, uh, which eat quite a lot, I would, uh, yeah, I would just stick with, uh, with the goats although boars have their uses boars have their uses you can certainly do both i am able to feed my piggies if i want to it's just take a little bit of time uh, which is all right but it's not not really that bad okay so uh let's go and try to <laughs> let's do one more try at uh, the uh, let's do one more try at the pearls but like yeah <laughs> i really want that last pearl it's like Ah, can't believe we didn't get it yet. I really want it. How are my partridges doing here? Let's see. My partridges, well, Alan first. Well, Alan has a palace full of food. This will last like for weeks and weeks and weeks. So that's pretty good. And these eat through it a little bit faster. These are my source of eggs, which are kind of important, not super important. So we're going to keep them around for now. Uh, I'll just, is this fresh drinkable water? Is this safe water? I don't know. I'll wash. They're happy, everyone's happy. Oh, hello there. This seagull is not happy. Okay, what weapon are we using anyway? We are using a copper spear. Oh, yes, of course we are. That's pretty good. Right, well, fingers crossed. Let's try to get what we need. Uh, also, what's my climbing at? Yeah, I also kind of want to train my climbing. Oh, 91%. Okay, so we can climb instead of sending monkeys up there. Are we even sending monkeys up there these days? I don't even know. Okay. So let's try to find the pearls. I need to find some oysters, they're pretty rare, so... Yeah. Good thing with seaweed, you can use these to feed your animals. They're actually pretty decent. Okay, we're a little bit hungry, so we can also feed uh, the, the guideman animal. The, 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 the super hungry... Oh, there we go, nice. So that's three oysters. Let's try to find some more. Oh, ho oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> Jackpot! Okay, nice, nice, nice. There we go. As for the run, uh, right now, once I finish Jasmine, my favorite idea is to go with uh, to go with the drones. You know the the 
killer drones or whatever they're called. It's a perk which adds like very dangerous enemy to the island. You cannot get rid of it. You keep need to keep fighting them. And uh, of course, I'll go for uh, try to find a new secret ending. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, that sounds good. I'll probably add some more. Oh, an ocean here? Really? Okay. I will try to... Oh, nice, nice, nice. I will add some other perks as well to make it sensible if it's too hard. It shouldn't be too hard, right? I should be able to deal with the drones. Well, you never know with this kind of things, though. Anyway. Oh, a bug. Cat. There you go. I know it's not your preferred food. Yeah, okay. Fine, fine. Be that way. Be that way. Okay. No, she's just not hungry. Okay. Let's head back. Okay, I said I will not feed partridges with like premium food, so just gonna use some bird feed on them. This might be a little bit too much though. No, it's 17. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. It's a little bit harder to feed birds these days. No, yes, maybe. Yeah, we need quality bird feed. Yeah, that makes it tricky, dude. That makes it tricky. Like almonds, bananas. Okay, actually, bananas would be pretty good. Bananas are like very available. And then here we need like you know, all kinds of things like seeds and bugs. Probably bugs are the easiest. Okay. How are we doing with bananas? You have like five. Okay. Okay, that's five. That's ten. So that's enough for five bird feet. Okay. And let's go to... Uh, yeah, the next area. And let's enter the, the dark, the dark cave. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need some fuel. Good. Who says coconut shells are not useful? So last time I kind of confirmed that the... Uh, so much nice food. Maybe I could have eaten one banana and just did two bird feet. But now it is what it is. Uh, we're going to start a fire. So now we need like, what? Uh, five, 15 bucks, dude. That's a lot of bucks. So five actions. Do we even have time to do five actions right now? Ugh. We do. Okay. 12. And one more, I guess. There we go. And then we have just about enough time to go back home. We didn't get the bore rate in a while, so we'll see about that. Nothing yet, that's good. Outside here we have like a lot of items. We were testing how how good the game is when loading new areas. Turns out pretty, pretty good. Optimization update was a huge success in my opinion. I'm very happy because of it. Okay. Uh, right, so we are hungry. We are hungry. Monkey's also a little bit hungry. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's go feed the pigs first. Pigs, they will eat pretty much almost anything except very heavy fiber. And I guess seaweed's not fiber, which is interesting. Not sure what it is, but the pigs will gladly eat it, and that's pretty good because as long as we are doing the pearl farming, we can just feed the pigs with the seaweed we find, which is just mm, amazing. So if somebody says it's hard to pick. Uh, Pig. <laughs> pigs the feeds uh, feed the pigs now then uh, well, they are just uh, overreacting because it is definitely not you can just give them bits of pieces of everything you find i'm super hungry and well some milk would be nice there you go it doesn't help too much though so we're gonna have to go and well eat something proper and as for what that will be i have no idea okay let's see we got some fat Okay, nothing in there. Dude, how is it even possible that with so many animals we have, like, nothing to eat? Okay, I guess we can do this. Oh, is this thing on? Oh, now it's dark. Okay. Darkness begun! Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's do an island chicken, I guess. Oops, that's not an island chicken. Although we will be eating those soon enough. Okay, we need some fat and that's about it. We do have lots of fat, that's for sure. Okay, while we're waiting for that to happen, let's clean up. And let's do like, I don't know, one of these. But beautiful. Okay, we're gonna eat and I'm gonna sleep. Actually, you know what? Before we go to sleep, 
Let's feed our friends. No, we actually usually do that in the morning, right? I'll give them some water just to keep them a little bit. Yeah, let's always feed the monkeys in the morning. That makes the most sense to me. Okay, it's also gonna make it the easiest to plan around and stuff, so. I guess we'll keep, we're keeping the monkeys then. Uh, I did wanna release a couple of them though. Two of them, two of them. <laughs> we actually got, so the Makaki friend, this one here, and Makaki friend, this one here without names. I got them when I blew up the monkey then. <laughs> <laughs> with dynamite i reminded myself that relatively recently so okay so let's go and uh, let's do the bird feed i'm gonna do it from bananas from all the things which sounds super crazy but it's actually the least amount of work i think for medium food bananas are anyway because you just need to plant them and that's it. And then they grow up and you get like, what, 15 of them from one uh, harvest and only 15 minutes to grab five. Eh. Yeah, the rice, you need to trash each one separately. It doesn't really, it's not really that important though to over optimize either, but you know. It is what it is, there we go. Okay, beautiful. And now, oh, wait, okay. I was like having an idea and then it escaped it, it escaped me so surely from like 10 oysters we'll get a pearl let's go let's go we can do it there we go nice they got only one we got only one but lo and behold we can make a pearl necklace now uh pretty pretty nope Tal tailoring done there they are. Ah, finally. And of course, I threw a fat in there by accident. Now, this is pretty good. Okay, let's eat some of these because why not? And yeah, yeah, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate by playing my favorite tune here. Well, the only one I know. Oops. I should not be talking over these. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, okay, we got a worm. There you go. Then we got some eggs. There we go. Everyone nice, happy, and fed. Good. Wonderful. Some of these are a little bit thirsty, so good. Well, actually, these I put into unspoilables, right? Yeah, there we go. And these are almost burned. Whoops, that's not what I planned to do. And these, okay, let's go and feed the pigs. Ah, so happy, so happy how things are moving along here. There we go. Of course, I don't suggest this should be your main idea of feeding pigs with the seaweed, but it's like, you know, I do one thing, I progress in one direction with the pearls, and then I don't really lag behind with the piggies. So usually I actually wanna feed them with rice and the meat of their fallen brothers and sisters. Well, fallen slain anyway uh i'm gonna put the unspoilable foods into my cellar which is here moat and drawbridge times were over though so maybe i should just rename it back we don't have to we're gonna repurpose the moat and drawbridge it's gonna become a food cellar there we go the times of role playing are behind us but who knows maybe we come back to it one day we'll see okay well the moment you've been all waiting for or at least one person and that's gonna be a Pearl necklace. Oh, there. So, tailoring necklace of with pearls. Bam. Check the gift. You think that's poop? No, it's not poop, dude. Just come down. Okay. So, yeah, how good is this thing? Well, so let's compare. So, let's see. A pearl necklace. I mean, it's a little bit hard to like gauge let me see something okay i need my morale to like stabilize so then we can compare these two but in general in general i believe i believe so if you go check the comfort and mind structure so seashell necklace does raise the mind structure it doesn't raise the comfort 
and well, of course it raises the morale. And the pearl necklace, well, <laughs> it raises the morale, it doesn't raise the comfort, and it does raise the mind structure. But how will we know which one's better and by how much? Now that's a really good question and I have no good answer. But there is like, there is a way to distinguish them a little bit, maybe, maybe. Um, so when my morale will stabilize, so it's gonna keep going down and I'm gonna stop going down. I will try to like make a difference because we're gonna be in equilibrium, so any change so I want to get to the equilibrium, I guess, with my seashell necklace, and then put the pearl necklace on and show that it's a little bit better. I guess that's the plan anyway. And yeah, I guess you can just meditate while we're waiting for the morale to come into equilibrium here. Okay. Uh, I can go and eat a little bit. Oh, maybe not raw, right? Mm, this is the hardest part trying to compare. I mean, it should be a little bit better, right? <laughs> because all, all the trouble we went through to acquire it. Okay. Still going down. You're very hungry. So if you would go and eat something, you would probably get happy enough so it stops moving around. Maybe. No, still going down. Okay. Right. Okay, I don't know. Let's thresh some rice while we're waiting. Let's thresh some rice while we are waiting. I mean, I can always try, you know, to see if we are now at the point where a pearl necklace would stop it going down. Okay, I'm gonna keep checking that also. And let's see, yeah, let's go grab some rice. This will be for the pig feed and stuff. That's pretty good. Okay, it's a little bit hot. Okay. Good. Also, like, some entertainment probably would be good. Well, right now the entertainment's actually rising it. Okay. So it's gonna fall down even faster if we... Uh, Going down so slowly though, look at that. Okay. You're just too happy right now. Okay, uh, let's do that. I guess I will not do any entertainment stuff then. Okay, let's take this. Well, actually, it's okay. I want to take the bee suit off. Okay, let's go and drink some water here. Get some nice reservoirs with lots and lots of. And it's actually raining now, so yeah. Okay, we are fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's let the, the moral drop a little bit so we can get to the point where this will actually make a difference. Let's check if it's now. No, it's not. Okay, good. Right, but yeah, this is like a consequence of us not being able to tell like in detail what each item does. So maybe it would be nice if like they like make it sure that like it's a different symbol to show which one's better and by how much. I mean, this one's definitely better. I already know that, but. So as we are working these, we can see morale ticking down ever so slowly. We're gonna get hungry now also. So that's also gonna like make it go down. A little bit stressed out though. That's not too good. Like I'm fine reducing my morale, but I am not fine reducing my increasing my stress too much. So oh I know. I know. Copper necklace reduces stress and pearl necklace I believe also reduces stress. So pearl necklace reduces stress and the seashell necklace doesn't. So that's one of the things that it's better at. See? So even just for that, it's worth it. Uh, stress is like a really bad thing, so. But the copper necklace also reduces this. Which one of these two is better at reducing stress? Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to tell this one though. Okay. Uh, and stress is going up because we are ravens. Okay. So let's go and eat something. Okay, and let's check the stress. 
Okay, lack of entertainment. Okay, very hungry is also driving it up, so it's lack of entertainment. Okay, we can eat some oysters. Right, so I'm still very hungry. Okay, see, now the stress is exactly at equilibrium. That's where I've wanted it, actually. So right now, the entertainment's driving it up, but the maximum comfort and copper necklace are driving it down. So if I put this one instead, the stress will go down over time. How amazing is that? Right? So you don't have to entertain yourself anymore. If you have a pearl necklace, that's entertaining enough. Well, not entertaining enough, but comforting enough. So you're super bored, but you have this beautiful, beautiful necklace. You're like one of those, like, you know, spoiled, uh, well, I want to say ladies, but I guess it would go for males as well, I guess. Those are maybe some type of those people around. Anyway. Um, yeah, so you're super bored, but you're like, yes, but I have my pretty pearl necklace, so yeah, that relaxes me. But that still remains the question, like, why wouldn't you just make a copper necklace instead, since this one is so hard to make? And yeah, that's a good question, actually. Thank you for asking. Well, now I would like to see if this one is better for morale than copper necklace. But for that, we need to get the morale to equilibrium, so. Right. So this still thing going down, so that's pretty good. We're going to get to the point where it's going to stop going down because the lower it is, uh, the the less our expectations are, in a way. So yeah, the happier you are, the also, yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, the, the happier you are, the more like needy you are, in a way, that makes any sense. What was that? Okay, I noticed something weird, but I think it was just... Uh, me imagining things still though i felt like that's something there anyway uh let's uh i feel like how we're doing with wood we're doing good with wood uh let's go grab some more rice so i'm stressed out right now well let's grab some food for ourselves so that's pretty good and let's go grab some rice so yeah that's what we are doing right now we are destroying our morale and feeding the pigs. I mean, making pig food. Uh, can I pin this thing to see, like... Is it on top now? No, it's not. There we go. I really don't need to see these. We know what they are and they're pretty top-notch. Okay. So now, once the morale drops too low, we're gonna be able to tell. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, of course not if we are wet. No, yeah, it's it's visible. That's good. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, we're gonna need... A, so are we gonna wait for the pig to get nice and fat? Or am I happy enough with this? And then we're gonna get like a whole bunch of these. And all, all of these are pregnant. Dude. Oh yeah, if we... Okay, we have two boars, so it's fine. Okay, we're gonna have a piggy explosion. Oh, dude, that's gonna be insane. I mean, that's fine, probably, right? Little piggies also have some leather on them, no? Okay. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's pick it up. How are they? How's their happiness, though? Going up? Okay, that's good. Uh, so, yeah, I want to, like... Yeah, sorry, piggy. You eat too much. You're fat. Okay, so, right, morale's still going down, that's why I'm gonna let it go down for a while more. Okay, this thing is sharpening, good. Okay, get myself some nice food here. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, we need some fat, okay. Let's go and make some poor feet. Well, you're actually really tired, but that's fine. I want to be tired, so my morale goes down faster. So we can compare the two necklaces. Okay. Poor feet. Another one. And there we go. Okay, done with that. So eight poor feet. Beautiful. So I was able to make way more than I actually eat. So yeah, we are way behind. Uh, way, be, way, way ahead. Way ahead. Okay, good. Plus, the biggest and fattest pig is no longer there. So that will also help us uh, to like keep it going. Okay, let's do these. Okay. 
My max, my com is this pinned? No, it's not pinned. Why is it showing? Okay, I guess it's important enough for game to show it at all times. Interesting. Interesting. So I need to destroy our morale here. Okay, it's pretty destroyed, right? Half. Problem is now when we go to sleep, it's gonna go up. Let me see. No, nothing yet. Hmm. What if we sleep like on the floor? What if we just meditate? Yeah, that doesn't do anything though. Okay, yeah, it's getting destroyed. Yeah, I think this is a good chance to like just obliterate my morale. I could also take this off actually. Okay, let's go and nap. So yeah, morale's like, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good, getting shredded, nice. Okay. Okay, let's go wash for science. Thank you for that. And well, my monkeys are also demoralized. They're like, why are we doing this? I don't understand, we had such a good life. Why are you behaving like a madman all of a sudden? Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There's like this, uh, this bigger reality that you're not aware of and yeah that's more or less it <laughs> it's because of the bigger reality that the monkeys are not aware of okay uh but but i will make my monkeys happy though even if i'm not and we need to go and drink we're gonna do that from the reservoir real fast okay Okay, so morale still keeps dropping, which is kind of... Okay, let's see if it's gonna stop dropping if we do this and this. Nope. Okay. What if I eat a little bit? And then do that. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, I guess we can salt these. We have plenty of salt. Well, not really that much, though. Uh, I can make myself like a proper f proper meal, though. Okay, let's grab some eggs. Uh, oh, yeah, eggs. And what's in there? Okay, no, thank you. And, yeah, let's make a boar feast. Problem with boar feast? No, no. The feast is gonna increase my morale also. I want to reduce my morale. Okay, so I guess we just go and grab some more uh, some more rice then. Did I remove my morale increasers? Yes, I did. Okay. Like it's insane how like slowly this thing goes down. Okay, trash, trash, morale. Okay, it's still going down a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Well, it's getting risen by a high comfort. So if it would be like outside, I think we need to get to the next threshold. We need to be like in a poor mood or something. I don't know if like this, like, if the, so like morale itself, Oh, right now morale does not have influence on morale. So when you're just fine, the morale will like, if you're happy, the morale will drag itself down because you know, staleness and stuff. Let's call it like that. So morale always tries to go to the middle. If you're very happy, it's gonna go down. <laughs> gonna have a tendency to go down. If you're really, really sad, it's gonna go have a tendency to go up. But of course, the other effects can override that thing. So that's how they make it to make it a little bit more stable, right? But anyway, now we are at the point where we are like... I think at this point we should be like... Yeah, stable, more or less, almost. So hopefully... Hopefully we, if we eat... If we eat and... Uh, well, actually, even these two necklaces might be able to stop the morale degradation. No, okay. Uh, so we need to eat. Okay, that's fine. Let's wait for the food to get done. Good. Put this into where? Unspoilables. Okay, good. Okay. 
Okay, now morale's going up. No! <laughs> Why are you so happy? Okay, if I remove... Okay, now it's stable. And now it's going down. And now it's stable. There we go. Now we can check the, the pearl necklace finally. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully pearl necklace is better enough than seashell necklace to make it go from fine to happy. Oh no, it's not. Ah, dude, I think, I think then, I think then the difference is only that it makes you comfortable, maybe. I mean, it, uh, it should uh, increase like some stat that the one doesn't, it increases the stress. But that would make it just as powerful as copper necklace, which is like a little bit weird. Okay, I'm gonna need to check this with developers, but it is really pretty though. But maybe it's just a tiny bit better, but just not enough to start like pushing it up. I don't know, it helps with stress, same as copper necklace. Uh, so let's find the stress then. Ah, I was hoping it's gonna be enough, but it's not. So for morale, it's exactly the same. Maybe it's just the same as the copper one, but that's a little bit underwhelming. That's a little bit underwhelming. Maybe this is a good time to go and buff it. You hear me? Go and buff it. Okay, they both increase that. And let me see. Uh, I'm lost. Okay. <laughs> so what did we say? Mental structure, isolation, no mania, alter progress, entertainment. Okay, stress. Oh, wait, what? Didn't these two, like, actually reduce stress before? What What is going on? Maybe it's because it's dirty? Oh, that's really weird, dude. Wait, what? Am I crazy? They were reducing stress, no? And speaking of which, where is my... Huh. Okay, maybe if I'm not very hungry then? Huh. They just... Maybe I'm... No. No, definitely that was working. Oh. It's not showing, but it definitely helped. Okay, this is a bug. It should be showing. Okay, but then it's going to be hard to find something else it influences, you know. So there's stress. Definitely helps. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing. Wait, what? But this one's definitely helping as well because... So if I would look at this, I would like, oh yeah, pearl necklace helps with stress and the other one doesn't. And they definitely both help because they're interchangeable and the thing remains the same. And if you have both, then it drags them down. Okay. Well, if you don't like copper working, then go and dive a lot, I guess. Because <laughs> they do seem very similar. Okay. Anyway. I'm gonna be using it now because why not and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this one so little bit of pearl necklace experimentation i could not find where a pearl necklace would be better than uh, than a, a copper one if you have like some insight on that uh, feel free to let me know i will try to see if i can f uh, like uh, confirm it with developers what exactly both of them do and um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you back in two or three days, depending if it's the weekend or not. And uh, we'll do another tutorial. So this time I will do mining and that's gonna be a little bit tricky because I mined everything out here. So I'm gonna need a fresh run for that. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. But I think if I slap on a lot of very easy perks, I can get there really, really fast and do a tutorial on it. But yeah, okay, as the people ask me about my comments and on discord i will do a mining tutorial next should be fun i'm looking forward to it not really sure what 
like w like what is the extent what I want to show and uh, but I'll try to make it a 10 minute video again I think that's pretty good for a tutorial maybe even shorter if possible and then I will rather make multiple like short tutorials rather than one big one maybe I'll do safe mining first like the one without climbing and then another video for deep mining and yeah and uh, also give some suggestions what would be the best tools for shallow mining and deep mining shallow mining is uh, all the copper you can get by just uh, not going in down the uh, the shafts and also i guess i could also talk about what dynamite does but uh, yeah cool so pearl necklace today next time i have no idea what we're gonna do uh, i'll see i wish you all to have a wonderful day do something nice be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next episode the near signing out bye bye